They didn't know I was spying for them. Spying on them. <laughs> what are gonions? <laughs> they haven't learned their lesson. Not yet. It's a rare breed. It's a rare breed. I have told them they are not going to destroy the commune. People are going to get burned? So what? People get burned every day. You guys go out and pop a couple rounds one time a month and I see these people out here shooting AR-15s every day. Bagwan started going down the hill. You see, my father, my father created Nike. But Shortly after, Dave Filmeyer revealed himself in this play. And it was just a fucking mess. I mean, I, I fully knew the shit was going to hit the fan. If they want to destroy it, then my people, I'm the son of the creator of Nike, and they shoot every day out there. They shoot every day out there. They shoot every day out there. These people have attempted to murder three people in the commune. They bugged houses, my own house. I don't, I don't turn the left cheek. I use the right cheek and the left cheek for both cheeks. I use them both at the same time. These people are absolutely criminal. Inhuman. She could have come face me. She did not even have the courage to say goodbye to me. This way of thinking, I have no words for. I was, I was totally certain that I would die that day. You know, I'm always out on the ranch looking for them cocksuckers. And I see them. I see, I see two Lear jets flying down into their property. They're down there 20 minutes, they pick back up again. I just thought they were a bunch of crazy people. Yeah, these red people, and they were having sex everywhere. It is very embarrassing. I did not commit a crime. Problem is that it's infringing on our rights, on our constitutional rights. Freedom of assembly. This is just simply a witch hunt. So they said, who's going to kill him? Nobody said anything. Stabbed him in, in the buttock, in the left buttock, and he came, he came around and he was, he was like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, right before.
before the end, he whispered in my ear. And he said, get me the fuck out of here. And after that, I went home. And Osho went back to India. Finished? Oh my god, I thought it would never end. <sighs> I think we had.